They call me the Seahorse Whisperer. I do 221 dives a year. All right, here we go. If you went with me, you and I would be the only two people out of 50 million that would see one. That's how rare it is. Ever since I was a kid living in Iowa, I always dreamt about the ocean. I am not trained as a scientist, but I've always had an interest. My name is Roger Hansen. I have probably spent more time with the Seahorse Hippocampus engine than anyone else in the world. I saw my first seahorse here in Southern California in Alamitos Bay, January 30th, 2016. I was uh, absolutely stunned. I did recognize how uniquely different the creature was. I was afraid they would leave. I knew how rare they were then. So I went down that night and built my first biome out of sticks, palm fronds, and pine branches. They named it Atlantis. And they love the sticks. They wrap their little tails around them. So I think I just guessed what they might like. So I built two more biomes, sister communities. One I called Vegas, and the other one I called the Bellagio. After a while, by the numbers I was seeing, they had set up a colony. And guess what? If you build it, they will come. It's captured interests, not just in California, but worldwide. To have them up this far up the coast is absolutely, totally rare. I started to learn things about measurement and taking good data. I've kept track for four years of all movements, of all seahorses. I have four notebooks, each for each year of the study, and in them I take information like tide, water temperature, UV rays, what phase we are in the moon, because all these things affect the seahorses. To my knowledge, I am the only one in the world that are tracking this particular species this way. I do not get paid. I drive probably 1,500 miles a month. And why do I do it? Two reasons. One, for science. Secondly, I guess it's like those wild kitties that you feed that are in your neighborhood. I really liked them and we developed a relationship. They liked me too. I started to learn about them and realize what a superior species. There's never a fighting, never. It's just gentle beauty. And when you live with gentle beauty for long enough, it starts to affect you a great deal to the point where I started saying, Roger, why can't you be nicer to people like these little creatures are nice to each other? That's really what happened. I consider myself a part of the herd, a little bit bigger, a lot older, but uh, yes, friends.